Hey guys, welcome back to my sports again, Matria. If this is the first time you're tuning in, thank you for checking this out. In this video, uh, we're going to go over the Hebrew calendar and putting together your daily numbers for the Hebrew calendar. Hopefully this will help you guys understand um, where my daily numbers are coming from, how I, how I got them or arrived at them and that way you guys can just pull the numbers for yourselves and get your daily numbers going uh, to make it easier for you guys to start to copy and paste the date numerology day after day uh, like I do it if you see my other videos you know I have my daily numbers on one side my game numbers on the other side um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this part the Hebrew calendar we're going to find out how I got the 23rd of the 2nd with this date numerology right here. The 53rd day, 302 left. And then on the religious side, the same thing. So let's get into it. So the Hebrew calendar, putting together your daily numbers. Welcome. So the first thing we're going to look at, or the first side we're going to look at, is the religious side of the Hebrew calendar. The outer white is the Hebrew calendar, and the inner black is the Gregorian calendar. There's two sides to the Hebrew calendar. There's the religious side and the civil side. The religious side can also be uh, called the biblical side and or the ecclesiastical side. We're going to talk about the religious or the biblical or the ecclesiastical. The first day of the first month on the religious side is Nisan, and it, it's in between March and April is when it takes place. Nisan, uh, in Hebrew, standard Nisan, Tiberian, on uh, the Assyrian calendar is the first month, and on the Hebrew calendar, which is what we're focusing on, is the first month of the ecclesiastical year and the seventh month of the civil year. We're not going to worry about leap years. Last year was a leap year. Uh, this year is not a leap year, so we don't have to worry about the leap year. But in a leap year, the Hebrew calendar is actually 13 months instead of 12 months. Uh, so, but Nisan is the first month of the Hebrew religious calendar which is also considered the seventh month on the Hebrew civil calendar. So the civil calendar, same thing, same, same picture, Hebrew in the white, Gregorian in the black, Nisan up here, March and April. This is the religious side, the first day of the first month starts here. On the civil side, the first day of the first month, and this is what actually changes the overall year for the calendar is in October, September, right around autumn. Uh, Tishri is the month, if I pronounced that correctly. <clears throat> Tishri from Akkadian, known as beginning, from Suru to begin, is the first month of the civil year and the seventh month of the ecclesiastical year in the Hebrew calendar. The name of the month is Babylonian. It is an autumn month of 30 days. Tishri usually occurs in September, October on the Gregorian calendar. So our daily numbers. We have basic understanding. Nisan is the first day of the first month of the Hebrew religious calendar, which takes place somewhere in between March and April. And then Tishri is the first day of the first month on the Hebrew civil calendar, which takes place somewhere between October and September. So the first thing you want to do is you want to Google what today is. So we're going to just copy paste this. What is today on the Hebrew calendar? Copy. I already have it written down here. I'll put this in here. Paste. 
So just like how I have it here, show you November 21st, it's the Gregorian for today, the 23rd of Heshvan in the year 5780 on the Hebrew calendar. When you put that into Google, that's what you see right here. So I put in, do it again. What is today on the Hebrew calendar? Hit enter. November 21st on the Gregorian. Today is the 23rd of Heshvan, year 5780. Okay, so that's step one. So now we know today, which is November the, ele November the 21st on the Gregorian, <clears throat> we know today is the 23rd of Heshvan on the Hebrew calendar, 5780. Well, you're probably asking, well, what month is Heshvan? That's the second thing we look up. Marchesvin, sometimes shortened to Chesvin, I really hope I'm pronouncing this stuff right, is the second month of the civil year and the eighth month of the ecclesiastical year on the Hebrew calendar, also known as the religious year. So it's the second month for the civil and the eighth month for the religious. Okay, And the way you find that out is you just do the same thing, you just Google it. Pop it up in the Google bar here, paste, and then you'll get your description over here, second month, eighth month, which is what I have written right here, second month, eighth month. So basically how it's written out, we have today, November the 21st on the Gregorian, 23rd of Heshvan on year 5780, as I write it out, the Hebrew civil, it's the 20, 23rd. I hope I did the abbreviations wrong. Okay. It's the 23rd of 2, because Heshvan is the second month on the civil year. And then it's the 23rd of 8, because Heshvan is the 8th month on the religious calendar. So the 23rd of 2, 23rd of 8. That's what we start with. Okay. Now, there's four ways I calculate date numerology. There's more than four ways that you can calculate date numerology. In fact, that's what's great about math is you can really calculate anything in any way you want. I limit myself to only four ways, uh, just like how I only limit myself to four ciphers using Gematria. I feel if I use more than four ciphers, or if I use more than four different ways to calculate date numerology, uh, to me, and this is just me, I get the feeling that I'm making stuff up. I feel like at that point, you know, if I use enough ciphers, if I use enough date numerology, I can probably make any connection that I want. And in the at the end of the day, that's not what I want. I don't want to make any mathematical connection I see fit. I want to make the right connection that's going to give me the result that I'm looking for. And what I found over the years is all I really need is the four base ciphers and all I really need is the four base uh, calculations on date numerology. And here they are. So for the Hebrew calendar today, the 23rd of the second, and again I didn't do the abbreviations there or whatever, oh well. But it's supposed to be the 23rd of 2nd, the 23rd of 8 for the Hebrew calendar today. The first way I do the date numerology is I add all digits. So I break it down to single digits. So 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 0 equals 27. Okay. They call this the numerology way, I guess, because it's all single digit. The second way... I calculate the date is what they call the life lesson date numerology. That's where you add the day and the month without breaking it down, but then you break down the year. So the 23rd of the second month, 5780 gives you 45. So the first way is to break it all down to single digit, 2, 3, 2, 5, 7, 8, 0. And then the life lesson date numerology you just do the year that's broken down. Keep the 23, you do the month, 
and then the year broken down. The third way I do it is the day, the month, and then I just have the last part of the year. This is more of an Americanized way of writing a date, 23 slash 2 slash 80. For us on the Gregorian, it'll be 11 slash 21 slash 19. And then the last way is to add the day, 23, plus the month, 2, and then break down the year in two different ways. So 57 and 80. This is the year 5,780. I break it down 5780. On the American calendar, the Gregorian calendar, it'd be 11 plus 21 plus 20 plus 19. So these are the four ways I do date numerology. And the only reason why there's four right now is because there's a double digit in the date. If this was only the second of the second, so 2-2, two, two, this part of the calendar, this part of the date numerology wouldn't be here. It would just be 2-2-5-7-8-0, two, 2-2 two, two, plus 80, 2 plus 2, 57, 80. So this fluctuates, date numerology will fluctuate, this method will fluctuate. If you have single digits of the month, you'll only have three numbers for date numerology, but when it's double digits in the day or the month, you'll have four. And these are the four ways that I do it. So on the 23rd of the 8th, the religious side, same thing, break it down. Single digits, 33, date numerology. And then you just do the day, the month, and then you break down the year. Life lesson date numerology, 51. And then we do the Americanized 20 plus 8 plus 80. And then 23 plus 8 plus 57 plus 80. So this is how... I do date numerology for the calendar. And this is the same exact way I do it for the Gregorian calendar as well. And like I said, the only time it fluctuates is when um, you have single digits for both sides, the day and the month. When you have single digits for the day and the month, you will not be doing this one. You'll only be doing that one, that one. And that one. Hopefully, this makes sense to you guys. Pause the video, rewatch the video, um, do what you need to do to learn this. That way, you have it. <clears throat> Pretty simple, right? So let's let's move on. Now we're going to calculate how many days it's been. Okay. So we have to do a couple things. This one's a little bit harder. I'm going to pull up my daily numbers here. So as of right now, we've completed this part. And we've completed this part. Now we're going to do the number of day it is and the days that it's leaving. Okay. So there's two sites, convertunits.com slash dates and chabad.org slash calendar. What we're going to do is we're going to find out when the first of Tishri took place for the civil calendar in 2019, as well as the first of Nisan for the religious calendar in 2019. That way we can properly measure what today is, what day of the year it is on those calendars. And then we'll find out when the first of Trish, Tishri takes place on the civil in 2020 to do the, the days remaining, as well as the religious for 2020 to do the days that are remaining. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when calculating the days is you're going to want to start with the Gregorian calendar. And the reason why I say this is you want to find out how the Gregorian calendar days are measured before you start measuring the, the days for the Hebrew calendar. And I'll show you what I mean. Today is November the 21st. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is convertunits.com slash dates. Uh, this is this site right here, and then we're going to use the Hebrew calendar, uh, chabad.org slash calendar. But for the dates, we're going to put in, we're going to do the, we're going to do the Gregorian really quick as an example. 1-1-19, or we'll just do 2019. And then today is 11 slash 21 slash 2019. Okay. So we hit go just needs to load 
So it's telling us from January 1st, 2019 to November 21st, which is today, 2019, it's been 324 days or a total span of 325 days. Now let's do this. Let's pop in no November 21st. Okay. So November 21st is considered the 325th day of the year. It's a day that leaves 40 remaining left in the year. Okay, so November 21st is the 325th day of the year. So when we look at the units and we see that from January 1st to November 21st, it's 324 days. That means the measurement is coming on the total span. So it's 324 days since the first or a total span of 325 days. November 21st being the 325th day of the year. So now we know when we start from the day one and we go to what today is, we're looking at the total span, not the distance, but the total span. So let's find out um, when the first of Trisha took place on the civil. Okay. So here's the calendar for chabad.org dash calendar. As you can see, today is the 21st, but it's also the 23rd of Chesvin. And since we know 23rd of Chesvin is the second month on the civil and the eighth month on the religious, we just have to go back two months for the civil. So let's go, um, let's see, click here, October. So let's see, we're looking for, here's Trish, here's Trishri, here's the 10th of Trishri, the 9th, the 2nd. Here's the 1st of Trishri right here. So it looks like it's the last day in September. Okay. So the first of Trishri happened on September 30th. So this is the day of the new year for the Hebrew calendar. This is the day that the year on the Hebrew calendar changed to 5780. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure September 30th to today, which is November 21st. So we already have November 21st here, so we're going to just put in September 30th, 2019. So we see that it's been 52 days, but we're looking at the total span because we just measured the Gregorian, and the Gregorian, when we measure that, it tells us it's the total span, not the distance, but the total span. So the total span is 53 days, which means on the Hebrew civil calendar, today is the 53rd day of the year. Okay. So that's why I have it marked here, 53rd day of the year. Okay. Now we just need to find the first day of the first month, Nisan, for the religious. And we know that, we'll just go here to the calendar, we know it happens somewhere between March and April. So we're going to go to April 1st to see if it's in April. Oop. Supposed to change. April 1st. All right. Ador 2nd, Nissan. Okay. Ador, or, or Ador 2. So here it is. 1st of Nissan. Took place on April the 6th. So this is the first day of the first month on the Hebrew religious calendar took place on April 6th, the first of Nisan. So what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to measure uh, 4, 6, 2019 to today, which is November 21st. Click go. We see that it's been 229 days, but we want the total span. So today is the 230th day of the year on the Hebrew religious calendar. 230th day. So we have so far the date numerology, what day it is for the Hebrew civil, date numerology, and what day it is for the Hebrew religious. Now, the tricky part is finding out how many days are left. Again, I want to turn to the Gregorian calendar. November 21st is a day leaving 40 left in the year. So let's measure the Gregorian calendar again on 
days left in the year to find out how exactly it's measured. So today, 1121. So first we're going to put in 1, 1, 20, 20. Let's do that first. So how many days until the 1st of January? It's telling us that it's 41 days till January 1st or total span of 42. That measurement is not correct because today is a day leaving 40 days remaining on the calendar. So that means measuring to January 1st isn't right. So we need to measure to December 31st, 2019, the day before January 1st. If we do that, we see it's a distance of 40 days. So that's the measuring we want to do. So when we're measuring um, to see what day it is, we want to do the total span. But if we're measuring how many days are left, we want to do the distance. And we want to do the distance of the day before the first. So let's go back to the Hebrew calendar. And let's do the year 2020. We'll do the first right here. So we're looking for the first of Nisan in the year 2020. So on April 1st, it's actually the seventh of Nisan. So let's go back one month to March. And as we see in 2020, the first day of the first month on the Hebrew religious calendar is going to be March 26th. Now we want to measure the distance remaining left in the year for the religious calendar. So we're not going to measure to March 26th. We're going to measure to March 25th because that's how the Gregorian is measured. So we're going to pop in March 25th, 3, 25, 20, 20. And we're just looking at the distance, 125 days. Okay. So for the Hebrew religious calendar, we have the date numerology. It's the 230th day, leaving 125 left. Now let's do the same thing for the civil. We know that the civil takes place summer in September to October. So let's go to September 1st, 2020. Now we're looking for the first of Tishri. Here it is right here. It's going to take place on September 19th, the first of Tishri. This is actually going to be the first day of the first month of the Hebrew New Year. And that's going to take place on September 19th. So we need a measure to September 18th. Let's do that. Pop that in. 9, 18, 19, oops, 2020 actually, 2020. 302 days remaining. So we look at the daily numbers, date numerology, which we already have, 53rd day. 302 left. Now we have not only the date numerology, the day that it is, but also the accurate measurement of how many days are left on the calendar. Okay. So this is what you should have. Hebrew Civil, 23rd of the 2nd, 27 date numerology, 45, 105, 162. It's the 53rd day, leaving 302 left. The Hebrew religious, the 23rd of the 8th, 33, 51, 111, 168. The 230th day, leaving 125 left. And that is all it takes. And, and once you have this down, once you have it down in the form that I have, you can easily just start to copy and paste it every day right you just come down here paste it and then you just update it so tomorrow will be 22 18 45 52 72 for the Gregorian 326 it's gonna be 39 left 18 45 72 and I'll update the Gregorian religious the calendar that I completely made up I invented it <laughs> I invented a calendar <laughs> so tomorrow's going to be the 24th 28 46 
106, 163, 54th day, 301 left, tomorrow the 24th, 34, 52, one tw oops, 112, 169, 231, 124. And you can just copy and paste that as many times as you want. You're going to want to check the math. Always check the math when the day changes to a single digit to a double digit or a double digit back to a single digit. Always check the math when both the day and the month are single digits uh, because you're only going to have three numbers instead of four like I, like I told you. Let's scroll back up here to the math. If this was the second of the second, we wouldn't be doing this math right here because it would just simply be this. So um, when you're updating and copy and paste, make sure that you're aware of the day and the month. Because if the 24 goes down to a 1, so at the end of the, the Hebrew month, when it goes down to the 1st, you're going to want to check the math again to make sure that you have the right correct numbers. But once you do the first, you can just copy and paste it for the first through the ninth and just update it. And then on the tenth, you double check the numbers again. And then you copy paste the tenth through the nineteenth. And then when it hits the twentieth, you check the numbers again, so on and so forth. I hope this helps. Um, this is how I pull the numbers. It's super easy once you do it and once you know it. Then it's just a matter of keeping track of it and updating it. So now that you know the Hebrew calendar, remember Nisan is the first day of the first month of the Hebrew religious calendar which happens between March and April sometime, which is the springtime. Tishri is the first day of the first month on the Hebrew civil calendar and it's actually the month that changes the overall calendar year for both sides of the Hebrew calendar. It happens somewhere between September and October. In the fall time, the Gregorian calendar happens exactly between December and January. We call it the Gregorian civil calendar. And then across from that is my made-up calendar, exactly between June and July, which I call the Gregorian religious calendar. It only makes sense we have the civil for the Hebrew that changes the year, the civil for the Gregorian that changes the year, and then the Hebrew has a religious side. Why doesn't the Gregorian have a religious side? We get the cross, the four sides, the four cross. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. And hope you guys have fun with us. <laughs>